Hey everyone, welcome to Character Ed. I'm Andrew. And I am Sam. And in case you are new, uh, we should let you know that Character Ed is the place where kids and teachers come together to learn the big idea, which are things that grow inside of you to change the world around you. And what you may ask is, what's a big idea? Sam, that's a great question. You could also call them virtues or character traits, things like honor and respect. And generosity and, and sarcasm. Um, no, 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 not oh. not so much. I was actually thinking of this month's big idea. Um, you want you want to go ahead and reveal it? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So everyone, start a drum roll. Three, two, one. Ta -da! Wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. And now we showed them the true secrets of wisdom. Um, I thought we just did that. No, 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 no. We've not yet shown them how to find out what they should do. Well, we're getting to that. You know, when you have a really tough decision to make, it's... Yeah, like I do. Like Sam... Wait, you do? Well, yeah, since I took up Frisbee golf. I didn't know that you played Frisbee golf. Uh, you doubt me? No, I just... Ahem! <clears throat> My Frisbee, please! Whoa, um... I don't see that this is going to go yeah. very well. You called me out. See that frisbee golf basket uh, over there in the corner? Mm, that, that way over there? Yeah, yeah, that, it's back there. It's back there. But there's camera equipment and stuff. There's like there's things know, you don't no, need no, to... No, 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 no. Check it, check it. Watch this, watch this. Four! Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. Now, now that you got that out of your system, what's the tough decision that you need wisdom for? Where to build my own personal frisbee golf course? Sam, I, I just... Look, 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 look. If I put the first hole in my yard and work myself around the block, I could put the ninth hole at Old Man Nanny Muggins' flower bed right in front of his giant stained Sam, glass window. Sam, I can tell you right away that this... No is... need, no need, no need. Okay, I have my answers right at my fingertips. Oh, uh, is that a cootie catcher? No, it's an origami snapdragon. So, a cootie catcher. Okay, listen, I bumped it off one of the third graders, right? But all I need is a color, okay? Okay, blue. Blue, okay. Uh, give me a number. Uh, two. Okay, so, should I build the ninth hole of my frisbee golf course by Mr. Ninny Muggins? Stained glass window. Let's see. One, two. It says, Noodle head! Ha 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 ha. That is truly the wise um, answer. Now, I, th I think you see the- Okay, you see the brilliance of this wisdom is that I usually play frisbee golf right after eating an instant noodle cup, which means my brain is awesome, like noodles, so the answer is clearly yes. What? Okay, next question. Should I use a bulldozer or a ditch witch to install my frisbee golf baskets in Mr. Ninny Muggins' flower bed? So guess you Color! Need, uh, red. Okay, uh, number! Three. Okay, let me see, bulldozer or ditch witch? Cowabunga, dude! Oh. Come on, Sam. These are not answers. Are you kidding me? That's pure Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> and they would so use a bulldozer. This is amazing. All right. Last one. Last one. Should I do the Frisbee uh, golf basket uh, at night or in the morning? Color, please. Pink. Okay. Let me see. Pink. Okay. All right. And uh, number? One. All right. Early in the morning or late at night? Stinky cheese. Ah, hmm, let me think about this one. Yeah, 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 stinky cheese has usually been left somewhere in the dark. So this clearly means I should do it in the dark at midnight. Okay, let me get this straight. You think it's a wise idea to install a Frisbee golf target in your neighbor's flower bed right next to his glass picture window using a bulldozer in the middle of the night. Yep. Found out what to do, and I'm gonna do it. No, no, no. Okay, 
I'm going to. Sam, you would, no, 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 state, you would be breaking about seven different laws and at least two municipal codes. Okay. It's. Are you doubting the origami snapdragon? I'm saying, I'm saying there are, are better places to look for wisdom. But. Where am I going to build my personal Frisbee golf course? You know what? Let's, I'll tell you what. I want to help you. Okay. Let's practice throwing Frisbees first. Get better at that before you build the Frisbee golf thing. So let's practice throwing them to the right place. Oh, okay. Come on, let's work on our aim. Hello, everybody. <laughs> my name is Caleb. My friends and I will be here with you at the start of every month to talk a little bit about our big idea, which is a trait or a value that grows inside of you to change the world around you. Now, let me ask you something. Where do you look for wisdom? Hmm? I guess you could find the oldest person you know or go for the fastest answer. Hold on. Hey Siri, is it okay to eat pizza and ice cream for every meal? Interesting question. Okay, cool. That's what, that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> Maybe even check out billboards along the highway. <laughs> there are so many places you can go for answers, from the internet to that kid in your neighborhood to a phone app. You can get information just about anywhere. But how do you know what is really wise? First, think about people you know who are wise. Friends who show that they love themselves and love others adults at your school, or coaches who care about you, grandparents, neighbors, aunts or uncles who make wise choices in their lives, maybe even your parents. I know, crazy idea. <laughs> they can definitely let you know whether pizza and ice cream for breakfast every day is a wise idea. <laughs> and if you show wisdom over time, who knows? Maybe someone else will be asking for your advice someday soon. That's why wisdom is our big idea this month. Now, we're gonna do something that we will do every month. We say our big idea all together. So, get ready. Ready? Wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. I, I caught you on the first time. Let's do it one more time all together. Here we go. Wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. We will see you next month. <laughs> I don't know, we're gonna have to figure out a way to decide what's going on. Oh, 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 hey there! I'm MC Haggis, world's greatest Scottish rapper, and this is my life and beatboxing partner, Seamus McFamous. Say hi to him, Seamus. Hey. hey! Now this month we're learning about wisdom, finding out what you should do, and doing it. And this couldn't be more timely! You see, me and Seamus, we're struggling to find out what the wise choice is in a very important situation, isn't that right, Seamus? <laughs> so we're just gonna flip a coin! Now, if it's heads, we do it my way. If it's tails, we do it Seamus' way, right, Seamus? Hey. All right, all right, let me see. We're, okay, here we go. <laughs> Here's a coin, let's get started. All right, ready? I... What, what are you talking about? I... Why can't we use this? Oh, <laughs> it's a button. We got, it was a button, you can't tell what's heads and what's tails. <laughs> um, I, I don't seem to have any coins, do you? I got one. Oh, great. This is a token from Chucky McCheese's. Aye. Well, I guess it'll do. All right, here's the first toss. If it's shamrocks, it's me. If it's scribblings, it's you. Here we go. Oh, it's Shamrock's winner, winner, chicken dinner, except for the chicken. Aye. What? Aye. Oh, 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 yeah, best two out of three. All right, here we go. Aye. Oh, you want to toss the coin? Aye. Okay, that's fine. It's only fair. Here you go. <laughs> All right, here we go. I mean, it's gonna be Shamrock's. I can feel it. So go ahead and give it a toss. What? What? <laughs> Samus, what have you done? Where did the coin go? <laughs> Curse your abnormally strong thumb. <laughs> we'll never know the wise choice. <laughs> what? Aye. 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 
Oh, so you're saying that instead of a coin toss to make a wise choice, we need to do the research and find out what we should do and do it. Seamus, I, I think you've got something there, right? Let's rap about it. Kick it. When a situation hits and you don't know how to handle it, take some time to examine it and learn what you need to do and do it. Word. Yeah, you are so right, Seamus. We need to do some research in order to make the wise choice. Soon we'll make that life-changing decision. Thin crust or thick crust. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Come on. Come on, forget the coin. Come on, come on, I'm hungry. Yeah. We're back and we're talking about wisdom this month and learning how to find out what you should do and do it. There's something we're all born with that is a huge part of the wisdom equation, even though some of us may not appear to use it as much hey, as others. Are you talking about me? Uh, no. Nope. Definitely. Nope. Definitely not. Uh. Defi okay. Definitely not. But since I'm not an expert on equations, I brought in someone who is. Please welcome Kelvin. <laughs> Sam? No, no. It is I. <sighs> Hello. My name is Kelvin, and yes, Sam. I am a scientist. No, Kelvin. And yes, I like equations. But no, I can't cure disease or shoot off a rocket. And unless we're talking about a stomp rocket, then I'm Ooh, like really cool. good at those. Um, but I'm also pretty good at talking about the brain. So I've got some things for you, my lovely assistant, to hold. So Me? if you could, yeah, 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 yeah. So okay. if you could just hold this right here, okay. everybody see. So we've dived into the deep synapse waters of our brain pathways before. But today we'll focus on one particular part of the brain that we haven't talked about, the prefrontal cortex. Ooh. Oh, right. right ah. But before oh. you go screaming, because you know, it's terrifying and you don't know what that means, don't let the name scare you. Like you just said, it's just this small part of your brain. Now, what's cool about the prefrontal cortex is that scientists who specialize in the brain think this is the place where we store our wisdom. Mm. Why do they think that? Well, because this is the place responsible for things like making a plan, uh, making choices, uh, your short-term memory, uh, and kind of how you act around people, your social behavior. And, well, kind of makes you want to wear a, a permanent helmet on the front part of your head, right? That uh, seems pretty yeah. important for all of us. Now, knowing what this part of the brain does, uh, it really helps us understand wisdom a little bit better. But before we do that, I need you to continue helping me. You've got a few more things in there uh, to dive into what wisdom looks like. So I'm going to need your help. Okay. And we're going to start with some questions, okay? So... Uh, have you ever heard of the scientific method? Yes. So let's dive into the, yeah. the scientific method, um, and then we're going to ask some questions about that. So the scientific method is a way for, well, scientists like myself uh, to study and learn things. And so it has five basic steps and a feedback step. So we're going to run through the steps real quick, and the audience can help. So, Andrew, I think you have our first step here. Okay, first ahead. step, number one is make an observation. If you're out in the world and you see something happen and you observe it, well, that's the first step. Okay. Step number two, let's see. Ask a question. So you see something happen and you think, hmm, huh. why does that happen? Yeah. That's asking the question. That's part of the scientific method. Let's check out step number three. Form a hypothesis. So you see something happen, you ask why it happens, and then you come up with a reason. Maybe birds fly because they have anti-gravity machines built into them. Oh, Like okay. that. So let's go to step number four. Make a prediction. So based on your question or your hypothesis, what you think will happen, you make a prediction 
that says, I bet this will happen, right? And so step number five, oh, oh. test the prediction. So now, if I think birds fly because of the electromagnetic flying device inside of them, I have to test that by seeing if they'll fly because of the electromagnetic device. And step number six, form a theory. If it continues to work and you continue over and over testing that and it continues to work, then form a theory which solidifies it and proves, well, whether or not it's a true scientific observation. Unfortunately, my bird test did not work. They okay. are not. They don't levitate because of a special device. It's probably them. wings and feathers. It's, it is wings and feathers. Okay. I learned that one. Um, gotcha. But those are the six steps. So now I'm sure you're asking, what in the world does the scientific method have to do with wisdom? Well, I thought we'd rev up those prefrontal cortex and see what we do know and okay. what we can figure out and what we can learn. Because remember, you should never stop trying to learn and grow in wisdom. So you've got some signs past this one. And I'm gonna tell you a fact, okay? Now, these have gone through the scientific method several times, right? And so I want you to tell me if the fact is true. True. Or false, okay? So we're gonna go for our first question. Okay. You tell me if you think it's true or false. And you want me to guess. Yes, true or false. Okay. Lightning never strikes the same place twice. Oh, 100% true. Never seen it strike the same mm, place twice. All right. Unfortunately, the answer is false. False. What? Yes. Now, it's a common saying used to, I guess, make you feel better, right? If if something bad happens once, it, it won't happen in the same place again, but fortunately, this has nothing to do with actual lightning. Oh. Lightning doesn't really care whether or not something's been hit before. In fact, it strikes the Empire State Building about a hundred times each year. What? So, what's the wisdom we can take out of this? Well, how about... Don't stand on top of the yeah. Empire State Building during a thunderstorm. All right, next, fact. Fact number two. A flea, the small little insect, like can dog. accelerate faster than a space rocket. Uh, no way. No way, that's false. I would think the same thing too if I wasn't a scientist myself, but the answer is true. What? Isn't that crazy? A flea can jump about three inches in a millisecond. Wow. Now, acceleration is the change in speed of an object over time. We measure that in something called Gs. Now, if you are sh shuttling off to the moon and you are in that spaceship, you're going to experience about five Gs of force. But did you know that when a flea jumps, it's going to experience one 100 Gs? What? Now. That's crazy. What's the wisdom we can take away from that? Well, fleas are amazing, and you should probably kill them right away. Before probably they jump Before away. they jump, yeah, before, yeah. okay? So the final fact, okay? Number three, sugar makes children hyperactive. Um, Andrew, you work with kids a lot. Yeah, You've got kids. I have kids what too. What do you think, Definitely true? Definitely true, definitely true. Sugar makes Once them go again, crazy. Once again, false. Yep. I realize that every parent or teacher in the room is probably shooting daggers at me, okay? Please hold, please hold. But I can't tell a lie. There have been a ton of studies on this, and there is absolutely no correlation with sugar intake and wild and crazy kids. Now, there is a possibility that other ingredients, um, additives, or caffeine might be to blame as well. <sighs> Or you could just have wild and crazy kids. Yeah. So I can't help you there. But that's not to say that you should eat all the sugar you want, right? Too much sugar is associated with a lot of negative things as well, like rate, weight gain, um, resistance to certain medicines, hypertension, even some cancers. So what's the wisdom takeaway? Oh, I know. Probably limit the amount of sugar yeah. that we eat. Girl, you are learning so Fast. Yeah, That's I don't want right. all those problems. Yeah. Limiting the amount of sugar you eat is a great takeaway. And though it has nothing to do with you running through the house screaming like a cat with its tail on fire, it's probably important to watch the sugar you eat. Uh, so, that's it. Now, let's give Andrew a big round of applause. Not only my assistant, but a great learner oh, as you. well, picking up some scientific methods. So, round of applause, round of applause. Now, 
And Sam, I mean, I mean, Kelvin. Uh -huh. Yes, Kelvin is me. Definitely impressed with the wisdom there, man. Oh, thank well, you for well, sharing. Well, thank you, thank you. Now remember, wisdom is both finding out things, like too much sugar is bad for mm -hmm. you, and doing something about it, like maybe cutting out some sugary breakfast cereal every once okay. in a while, right? Yeah. And over time, as we learn and gain knowledge, we can practice being wise with our choices. So, we've got our signs, we've got our stuff, and that's it for and today. And I have a little bit more wisdom now. And you've so. got a little bit more wisdom. Sweet. So, with that, we will see you guys later. I'm Lawson. You know, honestly, it's kind of boring down here. I think we need a change of scenery. What say I climb on top of the minivan and I film myself while we drive down the road? Good idea, right? Uh, what say no? Okay, fine. We'll do that next time. Meanwhile, I've got a fantastic story from this kid Levi, my cousin knows. Levi's like, how do you see danger? Unless it's a meteorite blazing in from outer space. Levi wonders if he needs special glasses. Or laser ray vision goggles. But mom tells Levi that if he just pays close attention, you'll see the signs. So Levi decides he's going to look for signs of danger all day in PE. The teacher says they have to run eight laps. And Levi panics because that's a whole mile. He thinks about telling his teacher that he feels sick to his stomach and can't run. But then it's like a warning signal goes off in his head. He thinks it through and realizes that if he says he's sick, his teacher will call his mom. And mom will make him miss art class and come home early and take icky medicine. So, Levi reads the signs and decides to run a mile after all. After school, Levi works on one of his most awesome Lego builds ever. But then, his brother runs in and totally messes everything up. Levi is steaming mad. He wants to grab his brother and pinch his arm. But he stops and thinks it through. If he does that, He'll cry and look up at him with big, sad eyes, like Baby Yoda. And who could ever hurt Baby Yoda? So Levi cools down and asks him to help me pick up, please. Then after dinner, Levi really wants a soda, but he's not supposed to have caffeine at night. Levi stops and thinks it through. If he drinks a soda now, he'll be wide awake at 10 p.m. And midnight and 2 a.m. So, Levi grabs some juice instead. And at bedtime, mom asks if he spotted any danger that day. And Levi grins and says, I saw the signs and it opened up my eyes. I saw the signs. And mom says, my work here is done. So kids, drink caffeine after 7.32, you should not. But do always remember that wisdom is finding out what you should do and doing it. Hey, Mom, about taping the show on the roof of the van. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> Got it. Yep. See you guys next time. Well, I hope you guys have had a good time today. And I want to talk to you about something really important. I'm sure the word I'm about to say is something you've heard before at your school, maybe by your teachers or principals, explaining what it is and why it's harmful in your school. And the word is bullying. It happens when someone picks on or puts down another person repeatedly, making them feel afraid or bad about themselves. Now, what can we do about that? Well, we can put our big three into practice. When we see kids getting bullied, we can make the smart decision and get an adult we trust to help. We can treat others right and treat everyone like an equal, making sure we're not saying or doing anything that makes someone else feel bullied. 
And we can maximize our potential by making sure our school is a safe place where everyone wants to be every day. But it takes everyone putting the big idea into practice inside of them to change the world around them in such a big way. It's the wise choice. When I decided to be a babysitter to pick up some extra money, I really thought, well, I thought it would be easy. <laughs> it wasn't. After my first job, I was ready to quit. When mom sent me the info for a class about babysitting, I was like, I don't need a class. I've been babysitting my little brother since forever. But after I thought about it, I wondered, what if there were still some things I didn't know? I mean, you don't know what you don't know, right? So I signed up. They gave me a checklist and some great ideas. Now I ask better questions about allergies and what the kids like to do for fun. And I learned to pack a bag with basic cleaning supplies and something fun for the kids to play. I made a whole babysitting kit! Next week, I'm even going to be certified in CPR. After my next job, the family told another one, and another one, and another one. I have more babysitting jobs than I know what to do with. This has been an awesome start to the school year. And I hope you all remember to live out our big idea of wisdom this month and really the rest of your life. You know what? Let's say it one yes. more time. Sam, why don't you repeat after I me? I got you. Wisdom. Wisdom. Is finding out what needs to be done. Is finding out what needs to be done. And doing it. And doing it. We will see you guys next month. Yeah, I can't wait. And you know, I've thought more about building that frisbee golf thing and... I think I've decided to wait to build it for a little bit. I think that's very wise, Sam. Um, look at you becoming wiser. And you know what? I would like to thank um, you for sharing. I mean, Kelvin. Yeah, of Kelvin. Course, yeah, yeah. He said, yeah. For I sharing that. the He's wisdom really cool. earlier. That was very, yeah. they're very, yeah. very, very wise. And thank you for sharing your wisdom with me. And I think we should definitely learn how to throw a frisbee straight first before really uh, doing that. And then maybe, you know, in a few months when I'm better, we can talk about building that personal frisbee golf course in your front yard. Yeah, baby steps. It doesn't happen overnight. Yeah. Yep. All right, we will see you guys next month.
good, good thing.